Time now for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. Sponsored by Beth Smith and Edward Jones and ProMed Ambulance Services. Well, last week we lost another one of the greats in wrestling, Adnan al Kaisi, who competed in such promotions as the AWA and WWF, now WWE. In fact, he became the first Iraqi to compete in the latter. Born in Baghdad in 1939, Adnan bin Abdul Karim Ahmed al Kaisi al Farthi attended high school with none other than future Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. He had an amateur wrestling career in Iraq and attended Oklahoma State University, where he wrestled under the ring name Adnan Kaisi, spelled K-A-I-S-S-E-Y, rather than K-A-I-S-S-I-E. He began the professional portion of his wrestling career using the name Billy White Wolf, taking on a Native American gimmick. During the 1960s, he worked in the Pacific Northwest Territory. That same decade, he became an American citizen. As Billy White Wolf, he and tag team partner Chief J. Strongbow, together known as the Indians, won several world tag team titles in the WWF during the 1970s. Needing neck surgery, he agreed to work an injury angled where he had his neck broken by Ken Patera via the swinging neck breaker on TV. After he left the territory for his neck surgery, the Indians were stripped of their titles. Also during the 70s, Adnan defeated Andre the Giant, Scotsman Ian Campbell, and the Canadian champion George Gordienko in one such match in Baghdad. By that time, his old classmate Saddam Hussein had assumed power in Iraq. By his own account, it was a difficult time, for although Kaisi was very popular and had some success introducing pro wrestling to Iraq, Saddam was already becoming paranoid about potential rivals, and he saw Kaisi in this light. Kaisi fled back to America and never returned, though he kept contact with his family in Baghdad. Between 1974 and 1981, Adnan made appearances in Japan, and then worked for Eddie Graham's championship wrestling from Florida under his real name. Later 1981, with tensions between the U.S. and the Middle East running high, he debuted in the AWA as Sheik Adnan El Kaisi, where his stated goal was to win the AWA title from then-champion Nick Bockwinkle. He failed at that task. So he then enlisted Jerry Blackwell, now wearing a Sheik's outfit and renamed Sheik Ayatollah Jerry Blackwell, to team with him to try to win the AWA tag team titles. That failed too. So Adnan bought his old rival Ken Patera for manager Bobby Heenan to team with Blackwell, and Adnan would act as Blackwell and Patera's manager. The team of Blackwell and Patera captured the AWA World Tag Team title from Greg Gagne and Jim Brunzel. Adnan was forced to quit wrestling when he was injured, which is the real reason Patera was brought in to team with Blackwell. In April 1983, at the AWA Super Sunday, he teamed with Blackwell in a tag team match against Vern Gagne and Mad Dog Vachon, which they lost. In one 1988 card, Adnan, in a brief return to AWA, managed the Iron Sheik in a match against Sergeant Slaughter. In the WWF, in the summer of 1990, he allied with Sergeant Slaughter as General Adnan and managed him during his pro Iraqi gimmick in a feud with Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. The pair was then joined by Slaughter's former nemesis, the Iron Sheik, who was repackaged as Colonel Mustafa to form the Triangle of Terror. And then also headlined SummerSlam 1991 with Slaughter and Mustafa against Hogan and Warrior. During the build-up to Survivor Series 1990, the WWF showed what they claimed were classified top-secret photos released by the Pentagon and the CIA, which featured General Adnan with Saddam Hussein. After Slaughter turned face, Adnan continued to manage Colonel Mustafa until leaving the WWF troll after Royal Rumble 1992. He later joined the AWF, short for American Wrestling Federation, where he managed the Rat Pack of Bob Orton Jr., Mr. Hughes, and Manny Fernandez and later Hercules Hernandez until he retired from wrestling in 1998. At some point, he and Ken Patera co-owned the World All-Star Wrestling Alliance. In 2006, he appeared on the Fox News program Hannity and Colmes, describing his encounters with Saddam Hussein. One year earlier, he published his memoirs, The Sheik of Baghdad, Tales of Celebrity and Terror from Pro Wrestling's General Adnan. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.